similar figures. Previously, we have worked with congruent figures, figures that are the same shape and same size. We now want to look at figures that are the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. These figures are referred to as similar figures. Similarity is a concept that appears in nature and is employed by many persons as they work. We see similarity when we look at leaves from the same tree, soap bubbles blown by a child, blueprints of buildings to be constructed, and photographs that are enlarged. We are going to pay particular attention to similar triangles. Triangles are similar if and only if there is a correspondence between the angles for two triangles and each set of corresponding angles is congruent. Angle, angle, angle. This is abbreviated A, A, A. It should be noted that if two angles in one triangle are congruent to two angles in another triangle, respectively, then the third angles must also be congruent. Consequently, the A, A, A condition can be reduced to angle, angle, abbreviated A, A. We use this symbol to indicate that two triangles are similar. We can write that triangle J, K, L is similar to triangle M, N, P in this way. If triangles are similar, then their sides must be proportional. If that ratio is one to one, then our similar triangles are also congruent. Thus, all congruent triangles are similar, but not all similar triangles are congruent. Let's look at an example. Example 1. Let us determine if the two following triangles are similar. If triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, then the corresponding sides must be proportional. Side BC must correspond to side EF since these are the shortest sides of both triangles. The ratio of side BC to side EF is 6 to 3, or in simplest form, 2 to 1. Side AC must correspond to side DF, since these are the longest sides of both triangles. The ratio of side AC to side DF is 10 to 5, or in simplest form, 2 to 1. The remaining sides, AB and DE, must be corresponding sides. The ratio of side AB to side DE is 8 to 4, or in simplest form, 2 to 1. We see that the ratios of all the corresponding sides are the same, 2 to 1. Thus the two triangles, ABC and DEF, are similar. The sun provides opportunities to experience the idea of similarity. At any particular time of day in a certain location, the lengths of the shadows of various objects are proportional to the lengths of the objects. Let's look at an example. Example 2. A tree cast a shadow of 27 feet, while a 4-foot post nearby cast a shadow of 3 feet. What is the height of the tree? Begin by drawing two triangles. Triangle ABC will represent the tree and its shadow. Triangle DEF will represent the post and its shadow. Label the length of each known side and call the height of the tree H. Since these triangles are similar, we will use the fact that the sides of similar triangles are proportional to determine the lengths of the unknown sides of the triangle. The side of triangle ABC representing the height of the tree is to the side of triangle DEF representing the height of the post as the side of triangle ABC representing the shadow of the tree is to the side of triangle DEF representing the shadow of the post. From this we can write the proportion H, the height of the tree, is to 4 as 27 is to 3. Solving this proportion we get 3H is equal to 4 times 27 and h is equal to 36. Therefore, the height of the tree is 36 feet. Example 3. Given triangle ABC with angle ADC congruent to angle BCA and the lengths of line segments AC to be 10 feet, BC to be 6 feet, and CD to be 4 feet, find the length of line segment AB and line segment AD. First, we need to show that triangle ABC is similar to triangle ACD. 
This can be done by angle angle. Since we are given angle ADC is congruent to angle BCA, and we can see from the drawing that angle A is common to both triangles. Next, let's redraw the similar triangles so that they have the same orientation. This will simplify the problem. Enter the given facts on the drawings and set up the proportions. To find the length of line segment AB, which we shall call X, we can write the proportion X is to 10 as 6 is to 4. Solving, we get 4X is equal to 10 times 6, which gives X is equal to 15. Therefore, the length of line segment AB is 15 feet. To find the length of line segment AD, which we shall call Y, we can write the proportion 10 is to Y as 6 is to 4. Solving, we get 10 times 4 is equal to 6Y, which gives Y is equal to 6 and 2 thirds. Therefore, the length of line segment AD is 6 and 2 thirds feet. Example 4. Show that triangle MNP is similar to triangle RNS, given that line segment MP is parallel to line segment RS. Because line segment MP is parallel to line segment RS, the pairs of corresponding angles NRS and NMP, as well as angles NSR and NPM, are congruent. Thus, by angle angle, we have triangle MNP similar to triangle RNS. We have now shown that a line segment parallel to one side of a triangle creates a smaller triangle similar to the original one. Since we know that the corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional, we can make this general statement. A line parallel to one side of a triangle divides the other two sides proportionately. Let's take a look at an example using this idea. Example 5. We will begin with triangle ACD. Line segment EB is parallel to line segment DC. We have already learned that a line segment parallel to one side of a triangle will divide the other two sides of the triangle proportionately. Therefore, line segment EB will divide both line segment AD and line segment AC proportionately. If the measure of line segment AE is 20 feet, the measure of line segment ED is 10 feet, and the measure of line segment BC is 12 feet, what will be the measure of line segment AB? The ratio of the measure of line segment AE to the measure of line segment ED is 20 to 10. The ratio of the measure of line segment AB to the measure of line segment BC should be the same. Letting X equal the length of line segment AB, we have 20 is to 10 as X is to 12. Solving this proportion, we find that X is 24. Thus, the length of line segment AB is 24 feet. Let's look at another related example. Example 6. Suppose we are given triangle JLM with line segment KN parallel to line segment LM. Not only can we write a ratio of the length of line segment JK to the length of line segment KL is the same as the ratio of the length of line segment JN to the length of line segment NM, but we can write that the ratio of the length of line segment JN to the length of line segment JM is the same as the ratio of the length of the line segment JK to the length of the line segment JL, and the ratio of the length of line segment NM to the length of line segment JM is the same as the ratio of the length of line segment KL to the length of line segment JL. If we are given that the length of line segment JN is 7 inches, the length of line segment JM is 10 inches, and the length of line segment JK is 9 inches, what is the length of line segment JL? Let Y equal the length of line segment JL. Then beginning with the ratio of the length of line segment JN to the length of line segment JM, we have the ratio 7 to 10. 
the ratio of the length of line segment JK to the length of line segment JL, 9 to Y, will be the same. This gives us the proportion 7 is to 10 as 9 is to Y. Solving this proportion, we find that Y is equal to 12 and 6 sevenths. Thus, the length of line segment JL is 12 and 6 sevenths inches. These concepts can be extended to three or more parallel lines cut by two transversals. We can state that three or more parallel lines divide two transversals proportionately. Let's look at an example that illustrates this concept. Example 7. Look at this drawing. Note that lines AB, CD, and EF are parallel. Line segment AC measures 4 centimeters. Line segment CE measures 16 centimeters, and line segment DF measures 20 centimeters. Given this information, we can find the measures of line segments BD and BF, which we will call X and Y respectively. Since three or more parallel lines divide two transversals proportionately, we can write these proportions. 4 is to 16, as X is to 20, and 16 is to the sum of 4 and 16, as 20 is to y. Solving the first proportion, we get x is equal to 5. Thus, the length of line segment BD is 5 centimeters. Now, solving the second proportion, we get y is equal to 25. Thus, the length of line segment BF is 25 centimeters.